friends, welcome to another Sunny Side Design video. I'm Steph. And I am Michelle. We're here in my kitchen, going to do a little craft today. We're going to use some paint stir sticks. And this old can that was headed for the garbage. To begin with, we're going to give this can a coat of some dark charcoal paint, black paint. We just want to make sure that um, as our paint sticks go around this can, that you don't see the metal underneath. I'm just gonna give it a quick paint. This is just chalk paint. There's no need to prep. We can just go ahead and paint the whole thing really quick. You can use an empty like hot cocoa mix can or coffee can, any large can large, you have on hand. Yes. You're gonna toss out. And these, you can find these larger cans like at the club stores like Sam's Club, Costco. So if you've got some of these lying around, you're set and ready to go. You just wanna get something that is straight up and down. So we took the tape measure and we measured the circumference of the can and then um, we took that amount, which was 19 and a half, to figure about how many stir sticks we were going to need and it comes out to be about 19 18 19 we're going to do 19 because as it goes around the pot we're going to need I think one more so what we're going to do is whitewash these with some paint we're going to kind of give them a coastal look we're going to make up a, a pot for our plants and so we've got some paint here that we've thinned down with um, some water, probably about 50%, would you say, Steph? Yeah. Okay. Just so it's really runny. You can, you can see kind of see. coming off there. All right, so we're just gonna whitewash the paint sticks now. We're going to do the whole side on the plain side, and then this side has a little bit of a ruler detail. We're gonna do the top part if it hangs over the edge of the can. Now, if you're going to paint your paint stir sticks uh, a solid color, you could actually just use those free ones that they hand out at Lowe's and Home Depot, your favorite paint store. Um, but we wanted ours kind of to be a whitewash, so we actually just purchased these paint stir sticks, and you do get 10 for 98 cents. And to cover one of those cans, it would take about two packages of the paint stir sticks. To attach the paint stir sticks to the can, we're going to use a glue gun. And this particular glue gun we are reviewing um, today, it was um, given to us by Monvict, which can be purchased on Amazon. And there will be a link in the description for a discount for our viewers until March 25th. So if you're interested in a great glue gun, um, give it a try. We do love that this is a full-size glue gun and it has two temperature controls, a high and a low, and a large um, trigger that pushes out the, the glue really well. So we were very pleased with it. And the other feature that it has that we like is that the cord is detachable. And so if you uh, need to reach that glue gun into a spot that the cord isn't gonna reach, you can detach it for a moment um, and use the glue gun and then just reattach it and it does stay hot for quite a while um, while you're using it if it's not currently plugged in. This is the first time I've actually had a full-size glue gun and I was really enjoying it. We do do a lot of crafting, a lot of DIY projects where we use a glue gun and this so far has been the best glue gun that I have ever used. So if you're interested and you're in the market for a new glue gun, make sure you check them out and we'll have the link in our description. The first paint stir stick plant pot that we made, we used a large hot cocoa can, which has the metal ring around the top and metal on the bottom, but the actual sides are kind of like a chipboardy cardboard kind of surface that's got a printed label on it. And that worked terrific. We did have a little bit of a problem with this corrugated metal can, and you're gonna see here in a second that they fell off. 
they just weren't sticking very well at all. So we had to come up with a, a plan B. Okay, with a little more practice, we did come up with a solution for getting those paint stir sticks to stick to a can that has a corrugated surface. And what turned out to work great, which kind of surprised me, this was Steph's idea, but a piece of cardstock. So we didn't really need to paint the can. Um, so if you've got a can that's smooth, you can go ahead and paint it. The, the stir sticks should work fine. If you've got a corrugated surface, you're going to want to cover it with some cardstock. You'll want to cut a strip of cardstock that is the height of your can. Um, I did need to use two pieces to get it to go all the way around the surface of my can. I'm just going to run a little bead of glue on the paper. stick that on my can. Do it in the back where the seam is. That will help me get a straight line. And then I will just tack it in a few places around. So I'll just put a little glue on here. And again, we're putting the black on because there will be a little bit um, between each paint stir stick where you will see behind it a little bit. And so this is going to kind of camouflage whatever your container is by having it black. If you're enjoying this little tutorial on a paint stir stick plant pot, give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any suggestions or comments or questions about it, make sure you uh, drop us a, com a line in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you. We um, read every single comment and answer, love to answer them. And we are always looking for new ideas, um, ideas that are budget friendly, or if you've got a better way of doing this, we'd love to hear from you. Now we're ready to attach the paint stir sticks. And so we have whitewashed them just with some thin down white chalk paint. And then on the back side, we whitewashed them down about a third of the way because that will actually show because it sticks above the can a little bit. And we'll want to work on some sort of a surface so that you don't get glue on your work surface. And I found it easier to just leave it sitting here. And then when I glue it down, I'm going to press it, the bottom against my surface so that it'll be flat all the way around. So I'm just going to kind of mark the top of the can with my thumbnail and then just run a strand of glue just down the center. And oh, before we go on, I did discover on my second one that I made that it didn't, I needed to leave a little more of a gap between each one. So I thought maybe this time around it would be wise to line up all of my paint stir sticks with an elastic on here, just slide them in, and I would know what gap I needed between each one. So you see, I've put a rubber band around my container, and then I'm just going to take each paint stick and stick it in so that it will be evenly spaced, and then I will know the spacing for each one. Then I don't need to cut any, and it will be perfectly even all the way around. Now that I have them evenly spaced all the way around my can, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change my mind and how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull out one at a time and mark my height again. Run a bead of glue down the center, and then I'm just gonna slide it into position between each one. And that's gonna kind of hold it in place as I do each one as I go around 
my pot here. Once they're glued all the way around, then we can just remove the rubber band and then we can embellish it. Um, on our first one, we put on a little piece of some burlap ribbon. It would be also cute maybe to just glue some rope around it. I've got some jute I think would be cute wrapped around here as well. So I think I'll do that now. And what, to, to get it straight, I'm going to place a row of tape so that I can line it up and make sure that it's straight when I put it on. So as I was thinking about gluing this trim around here and I was gonna wrap it around about three or four, maybe five times around here, I remembered that I had some jute and black trim. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put a strand of this around, glue that around for my little accent on this little pot. And I'm just going to use the hot glue again. Let's just measure around how much I'm gonna need. Just start by putting a little bit of glue on here and I'm going to use one of these little heat guard protector guards with the glue gun. This came with the glue gun by the way and they are fabulous. <laughs> if you've ever had a hot glue burn and had it blister you know how painful that can be. So now I'm just gonna tack it in a few spots. It doesn't need to be everywhere. So I'm just gonna go on a few spots and put some glue just to tack it into place following the line of the tape. Now, if you're going to actually plant a pot in this container, you'll want to punch a few drain holes in the bottom of the can so you get proper drainage. Actually, on this particular one, I have decided that I thought it would be really pretty to use it kind of like a vase and um, put some tulips in it for spring. Okay, now we can just remove the tape and we will get it staged and show you what the final pot looks like. I loved the way these paint stir stick pots turned out so much, I ended up making three of them. I thought they were so fun and unusual and I kept the one as a vase um, that I was able to put my tulips in so I didn't um, punch any holes in my can. The other one that I made I did um, so that it can be for one of my potted plants and then I decided I really wanted to make a really big one and so I had to think what I could use that would have a straight side that I could glue those paint stir sticks to and what I ended up using was just like one of those big five gallon buckets and mine was white and I just cut it down a little bit on the table saw so that it would be the height that I wanted it to be and I left it white and then I just painted my paint stir sticks black and used the hot glue gun again and glued them around the pot. And I love the way that that turned out. So if you are looking for a fun DIY uh, project to make a pot or a vase for your home, I hope you'll give this a try. And if you're in the market for a hot glue gun, I hope you'll Click on the link in our description and check out um, this hot glue gun. We have really enjoyed it and you can get a discount through March 25th on that. If you've enjoyed this project, give us a thumbs up and like this video and please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell for notifications. Follow us on social media, the links are in our description and also check out our blog. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.